What's up guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For today, I am going to be filming a cooking with Karina style video. So today's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Today I'm going to be making penne vodka. So that's pretty much going to be one of our dishes for today. My grandma's making, um, I think she's making a ham. I'm not sure. She's already like cooking the ham in the oven. But I'm going to be making penne vodka because it's one of my favorite foods. And also I'm going to be taking some to work tomorrow because we're having like a little work friendsgiving style thing i'm gonna show you guys pretty much everything that you'll need for this recipe i am going to link the recipe down below i found it on pinterest um pretty much all penne vodka recipes are the same they require the same ingredients so this one's gonna be a new one i haven't tried it yet but it's looking promising pretty much everything that i normally would have used i have so yeah so you're gonna need one deep dish pan and a pot i don't know if this pot's gonna be like big enough because I have like a whole thing of pasta but whatever you're also gonna need onion and garlic which I mix together vodka I chose Tito's heavy cream parmesan cheese tomato sauce crushed tomatoes chicken stock and then black pepper red pepper flakes and then back here I have salt and olive oil and yeah and also basil so this is like my first time ever filming a cooking video I've been like wanting to make a cooking video but I never really cook, um, not anymore at least. I used to cook a lot more when I lived in my old apartment. One of the first things I'm gonna do is heat up the water. Um, we don't have any hot water, so I'm gonna have to let this heat up. I really hope this is enough. I should probably tie my hair back. I can't cook with my hair down. Oh my God, don't look at my bra. I'm wearing a cropped sweater. Okay, on medium heat, saute diced onions, minced garlic, salt, black pepper and red pepper flakes and olive oil for two to three minutes or until the onions are soft. So we're gonna do that. So this recipe serves eight people. So I'm making like a large amount of food so just bear with me i promise it's gonna all work out let me know if you guys like cooking videos because i kind of want to start making more of those um marco and i are actually moving again so i'm gonna go back to cooking and why not make it more fun and actually record and show you guys the type of recipes that i make okay we're gonna add chicken stock and vodka so chicken stock, we need half a cup. So we're gonna do that. Onions are cooking, let's give it a little mixy mix. So I'm gonna mix the vodka in with the chicken stock. <laughs> don't know if you're not supposed to do that, but like, I don't really know what that so, yeah. So while we're cooking, I guess I'm kind of just going to catch you guys up on like what's really going on in my life. I hope the camera's straight. I'm kind of, I have it on top of like a lunchbox. So I don't know how great this is going to look, but whatever. So I pretty much just want to let you guys know like what's going on in my life because I feel like my past videos, I haven't been, hey, don't even go there. Get, my cat's trying to fucking knock the camera over. But anyways, I haven't told you guys like anything of like what's going on so pretty much mark and i we have to move again but we're pretty much looking for an apartment right now and it's kind of difficult because the area we live in in new jersey gets like expensive once the onions are soft add chicken stock and vodka allowing it to cook for another 30 seconds why would i let it cook for 30 seconds i'm about to have pasta that tastes like fucking vodka it smells good so right now i'm going to add the penne What else is new? Um, I'm still at my current job. Really not loving it, but I'm kind of just like dealing with it because I still have bills to pay and shit, so I kind of don't have a choice. Um, also, the whole YouTube thing. I'm trying to be more consistent. I really am. Oh my god, I need to open this. Do I have a fucking can opener? <gasps> I have to get my grandma to open that because I can't open it. Now we're gonna put crushed tomatoes inside of the mixture. Um, I don't know how happy Mark was gonna be about this, but I don't really care. 
And I also lowered the heat to medium or low. And then we're also gonna add the tomato sauce, which is this. This looks like ketchup, and I don't like ketchup. And then the other one. So I added two, because that's what the recipe said. Um, but I'm kind of like feeling like this is getting messy. So no one said I was a good cook. I kind of just assumed I was, but apparently not. So we're gonna let that. I think I need a bigger pan. So I kind of messed up, but I fixed it. I got a bigger pot. I fucking burnt myself. Um, so this is kind of turning into a cooking with Karina gone wrong. But, it's okay. We're gonna put the heat up a little bit. So the next thing would be to cut up the basil, which I have over here. Let's throw in the basil. So this is supposed to be three tablespoons of basil. I kind of just threw in whatever I felt like was enough. It's just to add that extra flavor, really. It smells like tomato. It's giving tomato. So we have to let this simmer for 20 minutes. Two minutes. So I'll get back to you when I start doing something else because I'm gonna let it sit. And I'm gonna take care of this pasta because it looks like it's gonna overflow. It smells yummy. I kind of like made an oopsie. Um, what you do? Look, I tried making it in that pan not realizing how much <laughs> fucking tomato sauce I needed. It and was I was, so And I was like, Maybe not gonna work. So then I was like, let me see if I have another one and then the pasta's overflowing because I'm stupid. But it's okay, it's fine. It's gonna work out. It's gonna be good. Thanks. Guys, Portugal won today. Portugal won the first game of the World Cup. Let's fucking go. Am I the only one that thinks this is weird? Please show them what you do with the pie. So, I just use a spoon and I eat the pumpkin pie. I just don't, <laughs> I don't cut it. And I don't eat the crust. It's not weird. It's the best way to eat pie. It's the best way to eat pumpkin pie. I let the sauce sit for 20 minutes. It has basil in it. It smells really fucking good. Pasta's already done. I just have it in there, um, just waiting to get put in here. So yeah, we're gonna do two cups of heavy cream. Two cups of heavy cream. And we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese. I'm literally gonna pour the whole thing in it. So this is what it looks like now with the heavy cream and the cheese added. It looks like penny vodka. Like the, the sauce color is like exactly what penny vodka would look like. So that's a good sign. We're doing great. Simmer for another five minutes. So I'm gonna just let this do its thing. How excited are we to see how this comes out? I'm excited. So far, so good. We're gonna let this sit for another five minutes and then once it's thickened, I'm gonna add the pasta. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm. This is good. Like, this actually came out pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. I was a little nervous at first because it was looking too much like tomato sauce. But now that the heavy cream's in here and the cheese, it tastes really good. Oh my God. It's so creamy and I think that's like probably the best part of it. Yummy. I'm gonna make pina coladas for me, Marco, and my grandma. We got all the cups, we got the neutral bullet. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. So I'm gonna take three ice cubes because I'm making three drinks, technically. So I'm gonna throw them all in here. I'm taking pineapple Malibu. And I'm going to pour in three shots. So the actual recipe is like one part of whatever Ooh. liquor you want to use. I used Malibu because I like Malibu. And then I'm going to take some pineapple juice and I pour in, I'm pouring like six shots because I'm making three. And then I'm going to be using coconut cream, coconut cream. And this is supposed to be half a part. So what I do is I take a teaspoon, but I'm making three. So I'm going to take three teaspoons of this. And it's like thick AF because it's cream. Like it's literally like thick. So now that we have all of that in here, I'm going to blend it in my Nutribullet.
Yup. Yup, she's good. I just came back from a smoke break. It's Thanksgiving and I'm allowed to. Yeah. So I am low key considering becoming a bartender because, like, I'm fucking nice. Like, I'm nice. Oh, this cat is like everything. She's everything. Yours here too. Say hi. Oh, I love him. I'm gonna end the vlog here because honestly, I am exhausted. We just ate and I don't really think I'm gonna be doing anything else other than just like chilling and stuff. Tomorrow's Black Friday and I work one to nine. So I have to like mentally prepare myself for that. But yeah, I hope you guys like this little cooking with me vlog style video. And if you wanna see more of these, drop a like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah.